This is a pictorial video on uh, how to remove the AIS or air pump system injection system on a Warrior, on a Yamaha Warrior. Uh, first you want to remove the air scoop from the left side of the motor which requires two 5mm Allen bolts. You want to remove the gas tank which is 10mm capture nuts um, and then two quick release connectors under the seat for the fuel line and underneath the AIS scoop on the side. Then you want to unbolt the fuel connector from the bracket and move it aside. It's an 8mm bolt. Then you want to remove the steel airbox hose from the rear of the engine. It's an 8mm bolt to remove that for the fuel supply line, which will allow you access to the rear engine stay bolt, which is a 14mm bolt to remove. And at this point, if you're keeping your stock airbox, you can remove the steel hose from the rubber hose coming out of the airbox extension and plug that airbox hole with a supplied half inch plug. At this point is where I deviated uh, from these instructions a little bit on my own personal warrior because I do not am not keeping the the stock air box. I removed it for a big air kit from Barron's. If you are keeping the original factory air box, the half inch plastic plug that comes with the kit, you can stick in the supplied uh, the hole there for the the picture for that plug. At this point you want to find the vacuum line that runs from the rear of the throttle body to the air pump and disconnect it from the throttle body and cap that with the supplied nipple. You can either use the hose clamp that was on the hose since you're going to discard that or a zip tie to secure it. Then you want to go back down to the bracket where the actual air pump is to remove that it's four eight millimeter bolts. You want to remove that and move it to the side then you can get to the air lines for the AIS elbow fittings to remove those uh, the hoses off of that which then you remove the actual bracket that's covering it up again it's two 8mm bolts but it's also a 6mm allen head bolt to remove that bracket but you need to remove the fuel connector that's inside of that bracket as well which you can click on you need to depress both gray buttons on the top and bottom to remove that connector and move it to the side also disconnect the fuel supply line to the fuel regulator after this is complete you can set the bracket aside and the fuel regulator aside remove then you're going to remove the five millimeter allen head bolts from the AIS elbow fittings and you want to hold on to the stock washers because you're going to be using those to reinstall the caps in the kit for the cylinder block off pleats then you're just going to reverse the whole process and install the 6mm allen head bolts or bolt and the two 8mm uh, bolts to reinstall that bracket for the cover itself and this is where I kind of deviated again a little bit where I moved the regulator um, on my own personal wire, the fuel regulator up underneath the gas tank to remove this whole fuel line system but if you're not going to you're going to reconnect it the same way you took it apart again reinstall that 14 millimeter engine stay bolt, reinstall the gas tank quick release connector and then you want to reinstall the air scoop and the tank and then you are done. So it leaves you a little bit of parts left over that you can discard uh, you're just going to wind up throwing them away because not many people are going to be buying these things but uh, if hope this helps with making your adaptations for your own warrior a little easier and again this is uh, the average J and Keep on working on that warrior.